right, we're going to count down the last of everything today. The final time we're going to see 680 News is Mike Apple from his home studio this morning. There he is. Good morning, Mike. How are you? How are you? Good. Thank you. Yeah, one of the big changes for 2020 right here. Yeah. Broadcasting from home, right? Absolutely. I'm usually on my balcony reporting from home. I know exactly how it feels. I'm going to start. And it's not going to change anytime soon, no, unfortunately. I'm, I'm uh... back there tomorrow for 2021. <laughs> Listen, it's been a roller coaster of the year for, for, sure has. for so many different reasons, especially in the business world. We've seen it on the markets, an actual, you know, graph up and down. Yeah, well, think about where we were back in March and April as the economy was shutting down and the markets were cratering. I mean, we were seeing, you know, 2,000 point plus drops on the Dow on a daily basis. We'd never seen that before. And everybody thought, oh, my goodness, where, you know, where is the bottom? How are things going to turn around? But then as soon as central banks started cutting interest rates to next to nothing and started all the pandemic, you know, stimulus programs, all of a sudden the market uh, turned on March 23rd and, and started to climb back. And at the end of the day, Melissa, we're looking at, you know, record highs. And again, no one would have predicted that back in the springtime, that the Dow would be at a record. The Nasdaq would have hit 50 record highs over the course of 2020. And you look at the tech sector, the tech heavyweights were the standout. And a lot of that had to do with work from home, wow. changing dynamics in the global economy. Look at those I put numbers. Tes I put Tesla in the, in the tech space you know, as an automaker, 700% gain. Apple up 82%. Amazon, massive e-commerce business up 77%. Even Facebook, you know, we were all going to delete Facebook and yeah. do all these things and get off social media. Not so much. Company makes all sorts of money still. And uh, the share price this year was up 32%. And then, you know, going to the Toronto stock market, you look at the winners and losers, you know, the top performer, Ballard Power out of British Columbia, hydrogen fuel cell company. It's been around for years, but, you know, the green economy is likely going to be a huge trend in 2021. Investors uh, betting on Ballard. Shopify out of Ottawa, 187 percent gain. Lightspeed point of sale. People aren't paying with cash. We're, yeah. we're debiting, right? So that's all part of that. And Flip like side, Cineplex, 76 oh. percent loss, you know, and Aurora Cannabis. Remember? Hot stocks, yep, mm -hmm. uh -huh. down 55% for the year. But, Mike, I'm wondering, with those huge numbers going up, the stock market mm -hmm. doing so well, can you talk about the disconnect that people might yeah. be seeing? You know, those markets going wild, but then in their own house, it's such a different experience. Yeah, well, that 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 was one of everything emanated out of COVID-19 this year, I think, from a business standpoint, whether it was uh, the, the revelation that we knew was there but was – amplified this year the inequalities of society you look at at uh, you know the rich and the poor and the you know uh, elon musk now number two on the global rich list jeff bezos you know uh, of uh, amazon and then you look at uh, still so many people unemployed and the rich getting richer uh, it, yeah and and you've got that and that's going to be we talked about this just yesterday about the cost of living things being more expensive affordability all of these things are going to play into what we talk about a lot, I think, in 2021. Um, the retail space, obviously, is looking for uh, a recovery. When that's going to happen, small and medium-sized businesses still closed, except for, for curbside. Um, you know, and the shift to e-commerce, that is probably going to accelerate. But then on the, you know, the, on the reopening economy, we're going to see the airline industry eventually come back theaters, hotels, people are going to want to get out. You know, there's, there's no doubt about that. We're, we're just, uh, you know, we don't want to be stuck in our basements anymore, for goodness sakes. Absolutely. And that might be, that lets, fingers crossed that that's the, the, the good trend, the trend in 2021. I hope you get out of your basement in yeah. 2021. Lovely chatting with you, though, and happy new year <laughs> like to it. you. Listen, listen, oh, okay. I like it down here. I got to admit. Comforts I, I, this of home? Has been, this, has been, this has been okay. I, I have no complaints about working from home. I would like to see people face to face. That yeah. would be nice too. But uh, all things considered, this has worked out uh, pretty well. So let's hit the. Uh, I, I'm not doing any resolutions. I heard that. Uh, that yes, conversation no resolutions for you. No. Well, we did resolutions while we were here. Yeah. Right. Everybody, you know, home gyms and all these other things, and reading more books and and reflecting on life and. Is and there treating... a Peloton bike in the background? No, there? I did not do. I did not do the <laughs> Peloton bike, but uh, thought about it on a couple of occasions. I'm even working on a puzzle, for goodness sakes. And I'm going to get that done over this lockdown, by the way. 
Mike Apple working on his puzzle during the lockdown. I appreciate it. <laughs> Check my Twitter feed. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the new year. Stay tuned. Happy New Year. Thanks for that. Happy New Year. Throwing things down to Mel and Frank. Hey, guys. I want to know.